my YouTube channel, so don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much! Hello students! Happy learning! Our learning objectives, at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to first convert unit of measurement within the English system. Meron tayong ounce, pound, and ton. And solve real life problems involving the conversion of units. Ito po ang kailangan matutunan ng mga grade 7 students in the Matatag Curriculum for Mathematics Quarter 2 lesson. Are you ready to learn? Okay, let's start. First, you are going to determine, para matest natin yung ating prior knowledge, of what unit pounds, ounces, or tons, kapag plural, no with S, in English system, could be used to measure a weight of the following objects. As you can see, ready? Timer starts now. Okay, so for a tennis ball, ano kayang unit ng weight ito sa English system? The answer is very good. Ounces or OZ kapag symbol or abbreviation. Next, a dog. Ano kaya ipo ito? Very good. That is pounds or LBS. An apple. Ano po kayang unit ito? That is correct. Ounces or OZ. Next, a man is correct. Pounds or LBS. A sport car. Ano po kayang unit ang ginagamit dyan? That is correct. Tons or T. A spoon. Yung kutsara, di ba? That is correct. Ounces. A dump truck. Very good. That is tons. And a desk that is pounds or LBS. Kung mapapansin natin, di ba, paano ko kaya malalaman kung gagamit ako ng ounces, pounds, or tons? Ito yung kailangan tandaan po natin in English system for measure a weight. Okay, so tandaan natin, an ounce is the smallest unit for measuring weight. A pound is a larger unit and a ton is the largest unit. Ibig sabihin niyan, kapag magaan lang yung object na na tinitimbang mo, gagamit ka ng ounce, sulad ng kutsara, apple, okay, and so on and so forth. Yung pounds naman, or kapag plural with S, yun yung ginagamit kapag medyo average, no? kaya larger. Like for example, yung ating cat, okay? Yung person's weight, tulad natin, di ba? And yung table, that is the pounds. And yung ton naman is the largest unit, tulad ng sasakmian, okay? Yung mga mamabibigat na bagay na Kinukuha ng timbang. Okay, madalas makikita yan sa sasakyan. Okay, now, we are going to discuss the English system conversion. So, kailangan ma-recall po natin yung uh, summary of equivalences between units of weight. Ano-ano ba yon? So, meron tayong unit conversion factor for weight. Una, meron tayong 16 ounces or OZ is equivalent to 1 pound or LB. Singular yon, walang S. Next, 2,000 pounds or LBS, plural yon, is equal to 1 ton. Tandaan po natin, from that conversion factor for weight, magkakaroon tayo ng unit fraction na tinatawag. Para sa itong unit fraction? Para pag nag-convert tayo from one unit to another unit, gagamit tayo ng unit fraction. Galit po sila dito sa conversion factor. So, pwede natin gawing 16 ounces over 1 pound. Yun yung ating unit fraction. Or balik na rin natin, 1 pound over 16 ounces. Depende dun sa unit na hinihingi. Kaya nga, meron tayong option. Next, dito naman, we have 2,000 pounds over 1 ton. Or balik na rin mo, 1 ton over 2,000 pounds. Yan po ang kailangan tandaan na unit fraction para makapag-convert tayo ng another unit. For you, wait. In English system. Okay, let's start. First, we are going to convert 5 pounds to ounces. Ilan kaya ito? Ang katumbas. So first, write the equation. 5 pounds or LBS is equal to blank ounces or OZ. Ibig sabihin yan, remember, set up the pattern. That is the number given units natin, di ba? From pounds, gagawin natin ounces. Ano kayang unit fraction na ilalagay natin sa parenthesis para makancel natin yung pounds? Ibig sabihin niyan, pipili tayo dun sa unit fraction. Pero kailangan tandaan, yung unit fraction mo, yung denominator niya, pounds, para makancel mo. Tapos yung numerator mo, yung pounds, uh, yung ounces. And that is 16 ounces over 1 pound. And that will be your setup pattern ma para makancel mo yung pounds. And then multiply mo ngayon yung 16 ounces times 5. That is equal to 80 ounces. So, ibig sabihin, yan na po yung ating number equivalent units is equal to 80 ounces. Yun yung sagot doon sa 5 pounds. Next, number 2. How many pounds are there in 56 ounces? Remember, 
write the equation and then set a pattern. The, the given number unit is ounces. Papunta ka ng pounds, di ba? So you have to think what unit fraction are you going to put inside the parentheses. So pipili ka lang dito. Pero kailangan tandaan mo, kung ang given mo is ounces, kailangan nasa denominator, nasa baba yung ounces. Tapos yung numerator mo, nandoon yung pounds para makancel mo yung ounces. So ang gagamitin mo yung 1 pound over 16 ounces. Then you can now set up, then cancel the same unit answers, then multiply mo ngayon yung 1 pound times 56, kaya nga 56 pounds yun. I-divide mo ngayon by 16, and that is equal to 3.5 pounds. Yan na ngayon yung ating number equivalent units. So, ibig sabihin, sa 56 ounces, meron tayong katumbas na 3.5 pounds. Next, number 3, convert 2.5 tons to pounds. Remember, set up, write the equation. So, 2.5 tons is equal to blank pounds. Ibig sabihin, so the given unit is tons, papunta ka ng pounds. So, set up the given unit, set up the pattern. Think of unit fraction are you going to put inside the parentheses. Kaya nga, pipili ka doon. Pero kailangan tandaan mo, kung ang given unit mo is tons, kailangan nasa denominator or baba. Tapos yung numerator mo, andoon yung pounds mo. Kaya ang gagamitin mo is 2,000 pounds over 1 ton. Yan yung ilalagay mo doon. Tapos, i-cancel mo na nga yung ton. Lagi nakakancel yung denominator unit ha, tsaka sa given mo. And therefore, i-multiply mo ngayon yung 2,000 pounds doon sa 2.5. Tapos, that is now equal to 5,000 pounds. Yan na ngayon yung ating number equivalent units. Ibig sabihin, si 2.5 tons ay... Katumbas noon is 5,000 pounds. Ganun kabigat. Okay, next, number four. How many tons are there in 9,000 pounds? Ibig sabihin, remember, write the equation. 9,000 pounds is equal to blank ton. Then, think of the unit fraction. But before that, tandaan natin yung given units natin is pounds, ba? So, ano kaya ang unit fraction na ilalagay mo sa parenthesis mo? Balikan natin yung unit fraction. Tandaan mo, kung ang given mo is pounds, kailangan nasa denominator yung pounds. At numerator, nandoon yung ton mo. Kaya nga, gagamitin mo yung 1 ton over 2,000 pounds. Then, iset up mo na siya, cancel mo yung pounds. And then, yung natira dyan, i-multiply mo yung 1 ton times 9,000, 9,000 pa rin yun. And, i-divide mo ngayon by 2,000. Kaya nga, the answer is equal to 4.5 tons. Ibig sabihin, yan na po yung ating number equivalent units. Sa makatawid, si 9,000 pounds ay katumbas noon is 4.5 tons. Next, number 6. Convert 1.5 tons to ounces. So, kailangan ma-master po natin ito. 1.5 tons is equal to blank ounces. Set up the pattern. Ano kaya ang conversion unit ang gagamitin. Kung babalikan natin sa table, di ba? From tons, pagpunta ka ng onces, meron po bang direct? Di ba? Wala. Kapag wala, anong gagawin natin? mag -to conversion unit tayo. Parang sasakyan, dalawang sakay ka para makarating sa pupuntahan mo na gusto. So, ibig sabihin yan, yung tan mo na ang titignan mo. Kailangan nandoon sa denominator yung tan mo. Alin dyan ang gagamitin mo para makonvert mo sa from uh, that, going to, yes, correct. Kaya ang gagamitin mo is 2,000 pounds over 1 ton. And therefore, you can now cancel the same unit ton. Tapos i-multiply mo ngayon yung 1.5 times 2,000 pounds. And that is equal to, yan yung ginamit doon. Remember, yung unit fraction na 2,000 pounds over 1 ton. Kaya nga, that is, multiply mo ngayon yung 2,000 pounds times 1.5. That is equal to 3,000 pounds. Oh, balikan natin yung problem. Di ba ang hinihingi doon, onces, hindi pa natin na, na, na nakuha, di ba? Ibig sabihin niyan, isa pang unit conversion. Para makarating ka sa pupuntahan mo, ano pa yung isa pa? So, ibig sabihin, kung ang given unit natin is pounds, kasi 3,000 pounds, nasa denominator yung pounds at yung ounces nasa numerator. Alin kaya dyan sa unit fraction? Gagamitin natin yung 16 ounces over 1 pound. Okay, so... Therefore, you cannot cancel the same unit. Plural kasi siya, LBS kaya with S. Ito singular lang. Pero kakancel mo pa rin yan. And therefore, you can now multiply 16 ounces times 3,000. That is equal to 48,000 ounces. Ibig sabihin yan, so ang katumbas ni 1.5 tons sa ounces ay 48,000. Okay, so next, number six, convert 64,000 ounces to tons. Pabaliktad naman tayo. Kailangan ma-recall natin yun. So first, you're going to write the equation. 
and set up pattern from onsis kasi tons. Balikan mo yung iyong unit frac. So, ano kaya ang lalagay ko sa aking parenthesis? Kung babalikan natin, di ba, wala siyang direct. Katulad ginawa natin kanina sa number 5 example. So, ibig sabihin, magto two conversion unit ka para makarating doon sa tons. Pero, unahin mo yung may onsis kasi yun yung given. Nasa denominator dapat yung onsis. Kaya, ang gagamitin mo dyan, yun yung 1 pound over 16 onsis para makancel mo yung O, yung OZ or onset. Cancel mo na siya and multiply mo ngayon yung 1 pound times 64,000 64,000 pounds pa rin. Divide mo ngayon by 16. Kaya nga, that is equal to 4,000 pounds. Ibig sabihin, nakarating ka na ba sa tons mo? Hindi pa, di ba? So, isa pang conversion unit mo ang gagamitin. Ngayon naman, from pounds, papunta ka na ng tons. Meron na, di ba? So, yun yung pangalawang gagamitin mo. And that is Unit fraction is 1 ton over 2,000 pounds. Ibig sabihin, you can now cancel the same unit, pounds, and therefore, multiply mo ngayon yung 1 ton times 4,000, 4,000 tons ba rin yun. I-divide mo ngayon by 2,000. And that is how many? Very good. Equals to 2,000 tons. Ibig sabihin, si 64,000 onsens ay ang katumbas noon ay dalawang tonelada. Sa Tagalog na tonelada. Yun yung bigat. 2,000. Uh, Two tons. Okay, so with that, you're going to answer the question one. Ready? Okay, let's check your answer. The answer is letter C, 8.5 pounds. Paano nakukuha yun, di ba? So kung ang one pound ay katumbas ng 16 ounces, ilang pounds meron sa 136? The answer is letter C because ang ginamit dyan ay yung one pound over 16 ounces. Kung baga, dinivide lang siya by 16. Kaya naging... 8.5 pounds siya. Okay, next number 2. Ready? Okay, let's check your answer. The answer is letter B. Very good. How did you get your answer? Okay. Ginamit po dyan is? Correct. Yung ginamit dyan yung 16 ounces over 1 pound. Okay, di ba? Remember, minultiply naman siya by 16. Kasi nga, from pounds going to ounces. Okay, next number. Ready? Okay, let's check your answer. The answer is letter A. Very good. A box can take 5 pounds and 4 ounces. Bakit kaya nakuha to or paano? Okay, ito yung solution. Diba sabi doon, si Jack, meron siyang uh, 9 pounds and 12 ounces na clothes in a box. Pero ang uh, condition kasi, ang kaya lang i-hold nung packaging box niya is 15 pounds. Ibig sabihin yan, i-convert mo muna yung iyong pounds to ounces. Ibig sabihin yan, nag gumamit ka ngayon ng 16 ounces over 1 pound. Minultiply mo siya. Kaya nga, 9 times 16, that is equal to 144 four ounces. And from that 144 ounces, so, i-add mo ngayon doon sa 12 ounces. Kasi kailangan para sila ng unit eh, para i-add mo siya. And then, that is equal to 156 ounces pag in mo. Yan yung sum nila or total. And from that, ba may balikan natin? Balikan mo muna yung given sa problem. Yung 15 pounds, di ba naka-pound siya? I-convert mo din ito sa ounces para makumpare mo mamaya yung difference nila. Kaya nga, 15 pounds, ilan yung pounds, uh, ilan yung ounces nito? Kapag kinonvert mo, same pa rin. I-multiply mo by 16 ounces. And that is equal to 240 ounces. Okay, from that, kapag nakuha mo na, that is 240 pounds, yun yung equivalent ni 15 pounds, ba? Tapos yung nakuha mo kanina na 156, isubtract mo ngayon. Para makita mo yung natitira pa na kayang i-hold nung ba packaging box niya. And therefore, that is equal to 84 ounces. Ibig sabihin, yan yung kayang i-accommodate. Pero ang tanong dyan, how, by how much more can take the packaging, packaging hold? Ibig sabihin yan, ilang pounds pa yan. Kaya nga, gagamitin mo ulit yung conversion na 1 pound over 16 ounces. Kaya nga, that is uh, equal to, pag kinonvert mo yan, ilang pounds yan? Lima. Kaya nga, 84 divided by 16, 5 yun. E paano yan may natitirang 4? Kaya nga, yun yung remaining. Kaya nga, 4 ounces. Ibig sabihin, kaya ang answer is letter A, a box can take 5 pounds and 4 ounces. Yun yung tanong sa sagot. Okay, now you are going to do the assignment. You are going to convert the following units of weight in English system. 
Copy and answer with solution na on one whole sheet of paper. Ready? Copy. Okay, so with that, happy learning everyone and keep on learning. Bye-bye everyone.